Hey everybody, welcome back to the Black Knife Catacombs. Uh, that guy did respawn. Screw that guy. Uh, good news is... Um, it's another catacomb. Um, the name Black Knife sounds familiar. In the beginning of the game, we're told that the Black... Or it's the Knight of Black Knives or something like that. Where... They killed Godfrey, not uh, Godric, but Godfrey. So, yeah, I don't know what we're about to experience in here. Skeletons, right off the bat, it's skeletons. Um, no, sir. Um, so, we're probably going to need holy damage. Fight something here. Are they broken? Why are they not broken? How many times I gotta hit them? What? What is this mess? I was hitting them. Why? Why did they die? Oh, seek old codger. I get it now. This is the guy. He's summoning them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get it now. I thought they were being jokeful. They were not. Let's go see what's in here. Just insert this little stone key into your little forehead. That was some kind of axe. I got an arrow in my eye. Oh, did he just really do that? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they could do that. Okay. Stay dead this time, okay? Got some arrows. I want to check out that weapon. It looked like some kind of axe, I think it said. Rose's axe. Usher of Death, Razus, who shows the path to the catacombs throughout the lands between, is depicted on the ritual axe. The dead easily lose their way and have always been in sore need of, gui of a guiding hand. Unique skill. Ross's summons. Raise the axe aloft to summon those lost in death. Three skeletons will appear at a distance and attack in tandem before vanishing. Oh, dude, that's... What do I need to have this? 18 intelligence? Yeah, I don't think we can use... Uh... FP cost would only be 15, so yeah. Alright, well we can't use it. That's unfortunate. It looks pretty cool.
Alright, well, we're having that problem again. Where you at, yo, Cosmic? Oh! Oh! Huh. I mean, he's, he was coming back, right? Or did I just not hit him? Alright, this place is going to be rough. I can already feel it. It's going to be one of them places. All right. Oh. Let's go in here. Because we got something for holy stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we got some holy damage on a on a weapon here. Yeah, like that. Let's go find the old codger. Don't leave those guys there. They don't seem to want to chase us. I guess those are magical and they just don't die. Be a giant crab that we have to fight. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Oh, he's got all the appraisals. Reason not to kill the crabs. We're just gonna grow up to be evil crabs. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Two crabs! Two! Two crabs! Alright, well! That's something, alright! 
However, shall we get past the two crab? All right, well, we gotta go past the skeletons again. Can you not get in here? Please let him not be able to get in here. That would be so... Yeah. Yeah, you can't get in here, you son of a gun. Also that two crap? Yeah, come on. Come on. Slice and dice, baby. Slice and dice. Alright, crab eggs. So, no hidden path ahead? So do we miss something? Let's see. Looks like there's a trap door. Ooh, they give you crab eggs. Okay, I guess we gotta go back up. Just trying to figure out how you got up there. Oh, 
<laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Blade, for telling me how to get up there. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's a tricky one. I didn't know that was going to be a thing, but okay. I should have. As soon as as soon as I realized they were going to the ground, I should have noticed something, but we didn't. All right. Well, hey, that's pretty neat. That's different. It's gonna be hard to do. Then again, he wasn't there. Oh, 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 oh. He wasn't there when we first went through, so maybe he doesn't spawn in until after you pass him or until you get up there. Kill this guy. He knocked me off of it. Okay. A little bit on it that time. Oh no! Ah. Dang, I didn't realize I was that low on health. Wasn't paying attention. This dungeon is proven to be a little bit more difficult. You're dead. Fall down. Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. That kill us too as well. Yes, it did.
Uh, we're gonna fight this guy again. I bet it's just gonna be this guy with skeletons. There's a, there's a skeleton boy right there. Hidden path ahead. Look, look he's just standing there like I can't see him or something. Really? Smoldering butterfly. Ha 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 ha! That was a good guess. Oh, that's that dude. Come on, D. Let's go. Try physical. Whoa. Yeah, we got holy magic too, son. I really would like to not die. Come on. Woo! Oh, we got the Assassin's Sir Lulian Dagger and the Black Knife Crap. So how do we open the door? Was that really the boss? Oh. Pretty sure this is what we're looking for. At least we know that's that's safe.
let's pull this so we ain't gotta go the hard way again. Ha <laughs> uh. Oh no No Oh. We can still use this. All right, now we just got to avoid these uh, death traps here. Just like so. Uh -oh. That was that silver door. All right, how many souls do I have? 10,000, jeez, whizzes. Let's see, uh, I don't wanna risk my 10,000 souls here. Uh, how many do I need? Let's see, I need another 6,000-ish. How many did these give me? No, let's uh, let's use one of these. Four hundred. Okay. Sixteen, so another two thousand. I'm gonna say that'd be like a thousand. Let's do two thousand. It should be about that. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna focus on vigor for a second here. Increase that HP pool. Seven oh nine. 
All right, let's go fight the big, big, big bad here. Although I think that, I think that assassin was supposed to be the big bad. He bad me up against the wall. That's for dang sure. What I tell you? Trying to get that critical. Oh, I did. Oh, I gotta get away from that thing. He's ah, oh, doing blood dance. <laughs> All right, you. Yes. All right. So that was the uh, test run. Let's see. Um, who could we summon? That's going to be efficient. We can try that Warhawk. That Warhawk was pretty good. Uh oh. That Warhawk was pretty decent uh, last time we used it. I was trying to get a uh, critical hit in on that skeleton. That way it would kind of block out any damage they were doing. But they sworn me and I couldn't get out of it. So that turned out to be a worse idea than I thought. Dang. I was also heavy rolling too, so that could have been a thing. Alright, I can't get rid of these. Dang. Oh, my bird is gone. <laughs> Alright, the Warhawk didn't do good. Uh, it did alright. It helped me get rid of some of it. But I feel like, I feel like it, uh, it died too quickly. We still haven't figured out how to upgrade these guys either. What's up with that? I want to upgrade my darn Ash of Wars. Not our skeleton. Not our skeleton, guys.
Wait, I could have swore I, I finished him off. Oh, this is... What is this? Ah! Alright, my skeleton, I guess my skeleton's dead. Ooh, you don't like fire, do you, son? You get some distance from yourself, so. I don't like that. We oh, I thought that was somebody coming, coming through the fog. I was like, what? No. Oh. Come on. Come on. Just, yeah, there you go. Woo, screw that guy. I didn't like that at all. Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes. Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes. That, that one dude or two dudes? Looks like it's two hits? Maybe it's just a weird helmet. Oh, that's that. That's that. Well, it looks like that chick's helmet. But it looks like it's two of them. Alright, well, I don't know if we can. I doubt we could even summon that anyway. Most of those we haven't been able to summon. FP cost 89, and nope, we're still 68. Well, that was a rough ride, I'll tell you what. No trap ahead, cool, thank you, bro. Ah, the death route. Well, since we got the death route, why don't we go ahead and take it to our beastie pal? I like I like taking him death boots. All right, sir. Hey, sir. I got you one of them death boots that you like so much. Something else. This yet quenches. Bring more. I got Beast Roar. Well, we can go ahead and see what that does real quick. We probably could have just done this. Uh, oh, never mind. I guess we couldn't. Oh, well. What just happened? Is he mad at me? Why is he mad at me? I didn't attack him, did I? 
No, I didn't attack him. Bro, what's your problem? What is his deal? What, uh... I don't know why he's mad at me. Shoot, I don't do nothing. Where's that church at? Church of Vows. Let's go there. What? Man, I don't understand. I'm going to have to go back and look that because... Maybe it's because we gave him that one. Maybe it maybe it broke his brain. He said bring more. I don't understand what's going on. Oh, let's see what this thing does. Oh, it just shoots a thing. That's me. Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle. Greetings. Now, I'm not giving you anything else. You always eat it. Now, I think they're... You don't need absolution. So why did that beast dude attack me? It was so weird. Oh, let's go... Who sent me to that... Oh, that D. That guy sent me there yet to get attacked. Let's go talk to D, man. D, yo boy just attacked me. Yo, yo boy just attacked me. Hello. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Yeah, he helped Don't us. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is solid, it rots people from the inside, breaks them. Okay, can you can you tell us about your friend Beast Boy trying to fight me? Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? I'd like to learn why you got a wagon wheel around your head. May the golden order. Sh can nobody explain, Mister? Hey, that door's open. Okay. Hello there, dude. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Yes, and I have. I bid you welcome as a true member of the round table. I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir, Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell, and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? Okay, well, let's see what he says about Godric. So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. 
Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Lindgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. Yeah, we killed him. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds to Limgrave's east. And now Caelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Caelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Well, that's sad. I'd like to see him as former self. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the volcano manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. I wonder what it was. Pray to Rikard is the Lord. Oh, he's just gonna repeat it. Okay. It was the stage Rikard has committed. the grace given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the two fingers forbid us from venturing there. Until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. Banshee though. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyurnia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The great rune dwells within the amber egg that was Radagon's gift to her. I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. Yeah, she's the only reason we were able to beat Godric, to be honest. Alrighty then. Well, that's useful information, I guess. I mean, I kind of figure we'd find all this stuff eventually. Still not talking to me, dude? Okay, that's cool. She's gone. What's in here? Oh, these two weird people who I thought were the sister twin thing, but... Ooh, you want a bell bearing? I don't have one. Sorry! Oh, a memory stone. Increases memory slots. Oh, we could totally use that. I think I'll get that. Um, oh, she's got some rune arts. When invaded, request the aid of a hunter. Answers request for summoning from hunters. Uh, I think that's just multi. Can also be used for the multiplayer. Oh yeah, item for online play. Yeah, we don't need those. We're not playing online right now. Uh, I will take this though. Thanks, ladies. Y'all are great. All right. <laughs> Try to jump through that table. So he didn't answer my question, which kind of sucks. Um. Uh, well, there's the dude. Always good to see you, son. Dee was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. About the corpse under Stormvale? Wait, the what? The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives Club, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the Golden Age of the Erd Tree, 
Long before the shattering of the Elden Ring, someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Maleketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They yeah. say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Sure, why not? Alright, I guess we can talk. Wait, maybe we can talk to him again. Uh, still. Nope. I'm sure that'll open up something later. Ask him about Robert. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Okay. Uh, we don't have any lost ashes of war yet. We can't strengthen that yet. We can strengthen this. I don't see why we wouldn't. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm out of soul, so I can't really strengthen anything, can I? Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I am pleased. Would you like me? Um, good day to you. I took my health away last time. I suppose I should try and ask Master Hugh. She still hasn't done anything with her life. Hey, crazy fingers! Gobble, gobble. <sighs> um, don't have any of those. Okay, no, I'm good. All right. All right. Well, I think we're gonna end the video here. Um. 
Not sure what's up with Beastie Boy. Let's go see if he's still angry. There's no way we can beat him. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that right now. There's no way we can beat that thing. He killed me in one hit. And, yeah. Yeah, he's still angry. I don't think I want to kill him. Gee whiz. I think he's just crazy. Alright, well I'll see you all in the next video.